There are many different types of cloud service models. Let's go through these step by step. First, there's software as a service. A good example of this would be Gmail, where you don't have to host your own web server that handles the mail and provide it to clients. You can sign up for an account and get that service. There's other really common formats for software as a service though, and these often take the place of things like monitoring. Uh, a good example of this would be, uh, you know, for example, Splunk uh, or Datadog or any of these, you know, large scale IPO companies. They build services so that you don't have to provide those services to your company. Next up, uh, another example of a cloud service model is platform as a service. Now, platform as a service is about abstracting away the infrastructure so the application developer can focus on building applications. A good example of this would be Heroku. That's been a really common uh, platform as a service that's been around for a long time. Google has GAE or Google App Engine. Uh, a Amazon itself has something called Beanstalk. There's many examples of this. And the core idea is that you as a developer uh, decide to pay a little bit more uh, and they, the cloud provider, will manage everything for you. So this is almost like a, a full service, uh, you know, uh, gasoline fill up at a station versus doing it yourself. Infrastructure as a service uh, is one of the most uh, extensive offerings that you can get. And what this means is that you can get things in bulk and uh, the cost is very low. So a good example of this would be on Amazon, they have EC2. So I can go through and rent a virtual machine. And in fact, I can even bid on a virtual machine via spot instances and get, let's say, 10% of the cost of a typical virtual machine. So it's a lot like Costco. You know, you go into a Costco and there could be, you know, 100 pounds of flour. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily want that if you weren't, uh, let's say, a, a restaurant. But as a consumer, if you needed to, you could go in there and buy this large quantity and, and, and make it yourself. And this would be very different than you know buying you know food that's already packaged or cooked for you. So with infrastructure as a service, you as the software engineer or cloud architect need to go through and spin up the virtual machines, uh, set up the networking layer, uh, but at a significant cost saving. So if you have the skills in your organization, uh, this is really a, a tempting offering. Uh, another a newer uh, option here would be uh, Metal as a service. And Metal as a Service, uh, what it provides is the ability to spin up and provision uh, machines yourself. And so with Metal as a Service, uh, you can actually physically control. In these other options here, a lot of these are actually more uh, suited towards, uh, let's say, virtualization. And that's really a, a core component of most cloud computing. But there are ways to physically control servers. Why would you want to do this? Well, a good example would be GPU. You may have a very specialized multi-GPU set up for, let's say, machine learning or a specialized database, and you may want to control that physical hardware. So that's another type of cloud offering. Finally, there's serverless, which is in a way very similar to platform as a service with the one exception of uh, it's really based around function. So you could also call serverless FAAS or function as a service and the reason for this is it's a different paradigm of developing software. A lot of it is around this piece of logic, and this piece of logic, you put it into the cloud somewhere and you hook it up to an event. So it's maybe a little bit like having a light bulb in your garage, how you could say, I want that light bulb to turn on uh, at night, but I also want that light bulb to open when the garage door opens. And then uh, also I want it to be able to be flipped on if I flip it on with a switch. So a serverless is, is really a way of abstracting the business logic into a, a unit of work and then applying that unit of the work uh, wherever you need to.